Welcome to the inside of the e-tron GT. Let's have a look at the infotainment system now. So you can see on the right here, we have our quick settings. We have our home button, radio, media, phone, and navigation. And then along the top here, we have our quick settings, which we can drag down and we can see. So we've got our setup wizard. We've got the ability to go into our profiles, change the Wi-Fi settings, sound, on this car, turn on the fancy air filtering system, turn off the windscreen wipers, and then the spoiler at the back, which has now gone up. Shame I can't see it because I'm inside the car. I'll put some video of it going up. And then along here, we have our normal settings. We have radio, media, telephone, navigation, phone apps, car, favorite settings, help users, messages, purchases, weather, calendar, legal, news, and breakdown. So I've got an MMI review video on the channel. Check it out if you want to. I'm gonna focus on the features that are unique to this car because this is an EV. So if we go back to the main screen here, to the home screen, and we click on car, we can then see certain features which aren't on other cars. So let's start with the Audi Drive Select. So this is not unusual, but this car has air suspension. So I can press the button here and I can raise the car and I don't know if you can see, looking behind me, but the car raised up a bit, and I can now lower the car, and the car will go lower. That's pretty, pretty cool, right? We obviously have efficiency, dynamic, and individual. On individual, I can adjust the drive system, and I can adjust the suspension, and we've got the sound profile, so I really like the noise that this car makes. So you can choose between subdued, balanced, and dynamic, which I like a lot. If we go out of the drive select, we go to car details. This is where you can see range information. So currently there's 148 miles of range. The range potential is with the air conditioning on is four miles less. So if I turn the air conditioning off, it will now show me that actually I've got those four miles back and I'm back to 152 miles of range. If I go out of here and then go to charging and efficiency, I can then see charging information. So this is showing me my charging isn't being used right now. My current battery level 60%. What my target is, if I want to drive long distances, what I need. If I tap on a little eye, it will give me information about it. And I can scroll across here and I can see my schedule. So I can set a schedule. So if the car's plugged in, it charges at certain times and I can adjust that to days of the week times and then it will set a schedule and I can turn that off as well. The other thing I can do too is I can tap the climate control and I can set the climate control to turn on and turn off as well. So I can have a car which is pre-cooled or preheated. At the side here at the top, there's also a settings gear for the charging. So this is charging settings. So I can go into advanced charging settings and I can create advanced filter. So I can set a name, test, and then I can use a location and I can set it so at this location, it behaves in a specific way and the amount of charge that it's targeting and the minimum charge level at which it will start charging. And then I can do the charging time, just like you saw before. And then that will automatically allow me to do that. So that's pretty cool, right? DC connector, I can make it so it releases after charging. Same with the AC connector. That's pretty cool. And I can set up plug and charge. So if a charging station supports automatic charging like Tesla does, not many other charging stations do that. But if your car and your charging station supports that, it will do that as well. So you just plug it in and it starts charging. We've also got our efficiency assist, which will tell you on the screen here on the digital driver's cockpit if you should slow down to save efficiency. And then we've got our recuperation manual or automatic. So this is obviously using the braking to regen extra electricity into the battery. And those are the charging settings. Now, if we just have a look at the lighting settings here, obviously this car has some cool options on it. We've seen the dancing that it does. We've got automatic headlights, main beam assist, and this car has laser lights. Yes, it's got frigging lasers on it. Amazing and really good for viewing in the dark. This car has fully electric and adjustable seats, and I can adjust the sides, how far over they are. I can also adjust the massage. I can have it changing to various things and easy entry so the seat moves backwards and forwards and so the steering wheel does as well. Having that adjustability is pretty cool and very unique. 
And then if I tap on the side here, it will show the passenger seats. And we go to driver assist. So this has all of the driver features you can want. And I can go into this and we can see the more preset side assist, intersection assist. So if you come to an intersection, it will let you know if somebody is going to pull out or you pull out too soon. Exit warning system when you're reversing, same thing. So it's got a lot of controls here and you can turn them on and off. You can go into basic, you can go into manual. Personally, I think you should have all the assistance on because that's really, really important for a car that is a lot of power and is very, very valuable as well. And let's have a look at the AC, so the auxiliary air conditioner. So this is where it allows me to set my air conditioning to a certain time. Again, allowing me to preheat or pre-cool. I can adjust the foot wall temperature, so it can be cooler, neutral, warmer. Also the same for the passenger side, which I've never seen before. And the ionization, so this will make sure the air is a bit more clean and a bit nicer for you. But let's turn off because I don't want that going on while we are doing a video. And then we can also do the extended ventilation zone, which provides improved ventilation in the air around the driver and passenger's heads, how considerate of Audi. I don't know who turned that off, but somebody did. And those are the main features. Now, the other thing we should look at is obviously the navigation, because obviously this is an electric car. So we wanna see if we navigate somewhere which is far away, what is it gonna tell us in terms of range? So if I type in Manchester, and we start, so let's see what the navigation system tells us about how to charge and how much we need to charge. So it's telling me there's a toll road on my route, that's very helpful, but what is our situation with charge? Is it gonna tell me that I need to charge? If I look at the route overview, you can see here, and it's showing me my current range. So it's telling me if I drive now, there's 225 miles of range available to me at this moment in time. Outside of that, I need to charge. Now it's telling me there isn't enough range left to reach a destination. So should it automatically search and find those destinations? And now it's looking for the fastest charging that it can do. So it's telling me Ionity Milton Keynes, 25 minutes will get me enough to get to Manchester with 15%. I can then press accept and it will add it into the calculations. And that is how that works. So that's quite simple. Now, obviously, if you want to use Google Maps or Apple Maps, that's a different situation. You'll have to manually input this because this system isn't running natively on the car. But you can, of course, still use that on Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well. Now, one other thing this car has, which is really, really cool, is a cool 360 camera. So how do you access it? There's a button at the bottom here. You tap on it and it opens up. And you can see my position in relation to everything else. Now I can tap on this to see the wheels at the back, see the wheels at the front, to see the back wide view, to see just the normal back view. And that's cool how it kind of bends out, to see my overhead view, to see my front camera view, to see my wide front camera view, and I love how that kind of bends in like that, that's cool. And then we can see our 360 view. Now the 360 view is the coolest because I can actually see all the way around me and move it like this, and that's pretty cool. I can even go and zoom in so I can see more detail where I am. Unfortunately, it's not the same color as the car, which is a bit disappointing, but it's still really, really cool. And of course I can change the position. We've got our 3D overhead view. We've got another view from the back. We've got a view from the other side so you can see what's around you. And that is very, very, very cool. And I can automatically activate it, have the graphic and the overview adjust the volume when reversing. And of course, maneuver assist as well. And what does maneuver assist do? It stops me from hitting something when I'm reversing, which again, a really useful feature to have. This is a really cool 360 camera system. Let's have a look at the head up display. You can see it right here and it's pretty cool and it will show you different bits of information as well. When you're driving, it will show you the driver assist features, whether they're on or off and give you information when navigating as well where you're going. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a like if you did. Subscribe for more on Tech in the Car. Thank you very much. And a big, big, big thank you to Coolston Audi for setting this up.